Looking at the map, 400 kilometers is about the distance as the crow flies from Beijing to Hod. See into Zhengzhou. Or Wuhan to Nanjing, it doesn't seem very far. But when we look up at an altitude of 400 kilometers in space, an important instrument carrying China's manned space history is flying in orbit here. It is our first space station, Jiegong. In 1992, China's manned space program officially kicked off, determined a steady three-step strategy, the first step of manned spacecraft safe return, the second step is that astronauts exit the capsule of the spacecraft rendezvous and dock, launch the space laboratory and stay there for a short time, the third step is to build China's own space station for long-term residents. Since 1999, the Shenzhou series of spacecraft have been successfully launched. It successively realized single-person, single-day manned flight, multi-person, multi-day manned flight, and astronaut extrastrated activities for spacewalk. For the first time, the Chinese have a view of our ancient and magnificent homeland from space. In 2011, China successfully launched its first space lab, Chegong-1. It successfully completed automatic and manual docking with Shenzhou spacecraft, making China the third country in the world to fully master space docking technology. On the basis of Tiergong-1, Tiergong-2 has achieved docking with cargo spacecraft to complete replenishment, and the astronaut's single stay time has jumped to as much as 30 days, successfully realizing the medium-term stay. The docking Tianzhou cargo spacecraft is composed of cargo cabin and propellant cabin. It can transport up to 6.5 tons of supplies and equipment, carry up to 2 tons of propellant, and refuel the space station in the air. On the return trip, it can destroy 6 tons of waste, and its transportation efficiency is among the highest in the world. Here China Space finally step-by-step -step completed manned space technology comprehensive verification. Tiergong is just one step away from us. On April 29, 2021, China successfully launched the Chegong's first module, the 16.6-meter-long Tiang core module with a launch mass of 22.5 ton. The space station will center on the Tiang core module, dock cargo spacecraft at the rear end for docking and resupply, and set up a terminal module at the front. The two experimental modules, Meng and Wenshin, will be docked at the left and right sides of the terminal module by a robotic arm. The front and bottom of the module can be connected to the manned spacecraft, and the top is used for astronauts to exit the module. The result is a T-shaped structure like building blocks. Compared with the International Space Station, Tiergong's maximum weight is less than half that of the International Space Station, but it is more efficient in space use and power supply. An even more innovative space telescope is the Sky Survey Optical Module, the 2-meter space telescope not only has the same resolution as Hubble, but also has a field of view more than 300 times larger. The combination with a space station also facilitates later maintenance and repairs. In the future, the Chiagong space station will be open to all and member states for cooperation. By adding a core module and two laboratory modules, it was eventually expanded into a large GAN structure. If the International Space Station is discontinued, China's Chagong will be the only operational space station in space. The father of space flight Konstantin Tsiolkovsky once said, the Earth is the cradle of mankind, but mankind cannot live in the cradle forever. Perhaps one day, the age of interstellar voyages will be truly ushered in. Until then, the story of China's Chiagong will be remembered forever as a milestone in the history of human space.